Hey everyone, I'm gonna show you guys how to fix this problem where you might get this error where it says uninstall Windows and it says the computer restarted unexpectedly or encountered an unexpected error. Windows installation cannot proceed. To install Windows, click OK to restart the computer and then restart the installation. You click OK, it's just gonna restart in a loop. So the way to fix this problem is you're gonna hold down Shift and you're gonna press the F10 key. That's gonna bring up um, this command prop window, you're going to type reg edit, which is a registry editor. Okay, and then you want to go H key local machine, system, setup, and then status, and then child completion. And right here under setup exe, if there's a 1 for the value, you're going to want to double click on setup exe change it to 3. Click OK and then click OK on this uh, error message. Computer is going to reboot but now instead of coming to the error again it's going to go to the next phase which is finalize settings which you'll see it's kind of like a purple screen. So let's take a look. HP booting up. OK Windows 10 is starting. Let's see if it goes back to the error or if it's going to go to the next phase which is just the correct phase of finalized settings and then eventually you'll continue through the installation uh, process. Okay, it's still booting up. So for no error, but let's take a look. I just showed you how to fix it. Now it's going to go to finalizing your settings and it's going to take some time but after that it's going to boot up and finally you'll see it should show up to this window and continue through the rest of the uh, installation. Okay, and if this fix didn't work for you and you're getting the dreaded 64% error where Windows 10 keeps rebooting in the loop and it keeps starting off at 64% and you don't get anywhere, or if this fixes didn't work for you and your computer just keeps rebooting, then I'm gonna show you how to fix that problem. And unfortunately, you're gonna have to reinstall Windows 10, but no worries, I'm gonna walk you right through it. And I'm gonna show you how you can download Windows 10 for free. To download Windows 10, you don't need any product key or anything, you can just download it, and I'm gonna show you exactly where to go. So you're gonna wanna go down to the description of this video and hit the link to download Windows 10. And once you get on this screen that you see right here in front of you, you're gonna wanna go to Create Windows 10 Installation Media. So go ahead and click on Download Tool Now, and then click Save. Okay, and while the media creation tool is being downloaded, prepare a USB drive that you're gonna use for this, and it needs to be at least eight gigabytes in size to make sure that the whole Windows 10 operating system installer fits on that USB drive. So you have any files on your USB drive, go ahead and back it up to your computer because this process may delete the contents of your USB drive. Okay, once the media creation tool has been downloaded, go ahead and click run. And you may get a prompt that says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Go ahead and click yes. Okay, so go ahead and accept the license terms. Okay, at this point, you're gonna wanna select create installation media, not upgrade this PC because we're trying to fix a PC that's not working, right? Your laptop or so on is not working. So yes, you will need another computer to do this. And go ahead and select create installation media. This is gonna create the USB flash drive that we're gonna use to boot up on that computer that's not working to get it working again. So go ahead and click next. Okay, go ahead and uncheck the use recommended options. Make sure to select Windows 10 and 64-bit. And then go ahead and click next. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, make sure you're using a USB drive that's at least eight gigabytes. If you don't have a USB drive, go ahead and look down in the description. I'll leave a link to one that works for this purpose. Okay, once you have your USB drive plugged in, go ahead and click next. Okay, at this point, you're gonna wanna carefully select your drive letter for your USB flash drive. In my case, it's the K drive. So the K drive is my flash drive. And select that and go ahead and click next. Okay, and at this point, depending on your download speed, it's gonna download Windows 10, and it may take anywhere from a few minutes to maybe half an hour or so. Okay, at this point, it's actually creating the Windows 10 media, it means copying the files needed 
for Windows 10 operating system onto your USB drive and then that way you can use it to fix your computer that's not working. Okay, now the media creation tool tells us that our USB flash drive, the key drive is ready. So at this point, you can go ahead and click finish. Okay, so we open up Windows Explorer and open up the key drive. You're gonna see the contents of the key drive. You'll see all these files here. As I mentioned before, it does wipe all the contents of your USB drive. So be careful with that. Okay, so now we have everything we need to fix the 64% loop error on your Windows 10 computer or if your computer is still rebooting by itself and it's not working this will fix it as well we're gonna go ahead and reinstall Windows 10 now you may be thinking well I don't want to reinstall Windows 10 because it's gonna delete my files don't worry I'm gonna show you a way where you could reinstall Windows 10 and still keep your files okay it might not keep all your settings and all that but your files and your documents and all that will still be there. Okay, so at this point, we're gonna take our Windows 10 installation USB drive and we're gonna take it to the computer or laptop that's having the problem with the 64% error or if it's not, you know, not working, booting up in the loop. And what you'll need to do is turn on your computer or laptop and press the key that's gonna get you to the boot menu. So for every manufacturer has a different key. Most of the time it's either F12 or F9, possibly escape or delete key. So again, look up your manufacturer for your computer and figure out what that is. And as you turn on your computer, you're gonna wanna kinda hit that button, kinda spam it. And once you get to the boot menu, you're gonna wanna select your USB drive as the boot option. This is gonna bring up the Windows 10 installer and it's gonna go ahead and allow you to reinstall Windows 10 on your computer and fix your problem. Okay, so at this point, you're gonna wanna turn on your computer and go ahead and press the key to bring up your boot menu. For me, as you can see right here, it's F12. So I'm gonna keep pressing F12 until I see this boot device menu. So if you look right here, you're gonna wanna look for your USB drive that has a Windows 10 installation. Now you might see two options for your USB drive. For example, right here I have SanDisk, which is my USB drive, and then I have UEFI SanDisk. So depending on whether your computer is set up for UEFI, you would select UEFI SanDisk. If not, you would select the regular SanDisk. For my case, I know that my computer uses UEFI. And if you're not sure, you can check with your manufacturer to see if your computer uses UEFI or the older BIOS. For me, I know that my computer uses UEFI, so I'm gonna go ahead and select that. Okay, once it finishes booting up, you'll see this Windows setup screen and you're gonna wanna go ahead and click next. And then you're gonna wanna go ahead and click install now. Okay, now if you have your product key, go ahead and enter it here now. But if you don't, not a problem. You can just click, I don't have a product key. And then you can select a different version of Windows 10 that you're gonna install on your computer. In most cases, most people have the Windows 10 Home. So if you're not sure, go ahead and select Windows 10 Home. For my case, I'm gonna use a Windows 10 Education. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click Next. Click Accept, and then click Next. Okay, so this is the important part right here. So this is gonna determine whether you keep your files or not. So make sure to select the correct option as I tell you to do. Okay, so as you can see here in the second custom option, they do recommend you back up your files before you continue because this option is actually gonna delete all your files. You don't want that. So you already have Windows 10, so you're gonna choose the upgrade option, which installs Windows 10 and keeps your file settings and applications. Okay, so this is the final step in fixing your computer. You're gonna wanna go ahead and select upgrade and then continue through the installation process and your computer should be up and running just fine. I'm not gonna go ahead and do this on my computer because my computer is running just fine and I don't wanna mess it up. But if the upgrade doesn't work, then you can do the custom install Windows only. Just be aware that that may delete all your files. So this is a last resort here. So if the upgrade doesn't work, you can go ahead and try the custom and 
just know that it may delete all the files on your computer, but if you're stuck and can't get anywhere further with your computer, at least you'll have a working computer. Okay, so if this video helped you out, I would appreciate if you hit like on your way out, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more useful videos such as this. I'll see you all in the next video.